hello everyone welcome back my dear students so today in this video we are going to display our table here and then we will display our all of the posts so let's get started so here we are displaying our alerts so let me close this out and i'm going to close this one and here in the index i'm going to display the my table stuff right so my i'm going to display all of my post so let's go to the uh, this theme and here you need to go to this pages directory this is html theme which we downloaded uh, it from the bootstrap i'm not sure what's the website name and then go to table and here this contain a basic table so we are going to use a uh, data table but uh, for now i'm going to get this table and then i will apply the data table on it so here i need this strip data table so it looks so uh, good here we will display our picture title and stuff like that so now how I can get this so just press ctrl plus u or if you are on a different uh, operating system just open this view page source like this right and here you need to find uh, the main content after this uh, sidebar and yes before this partial it's contain the main content we go down 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 and before the footer you need to copy all of the stuff so here it's ending right so copy this stuff and go back and remove this one and paste this out so let's get refresh and yes we have uh, tables right and we have also this table so later we will add the images and stuff like that right so this one also looks good but i'm going to use uh, not this one i'm going to use this one right so it is strip data table so before this i'm going to remove everything so just to go to the top just to uh, i don't need this hover table so i'm going to remove this hover table and also i need to remove the first one what's the name of this one oh i think i removed the wrong so let me first to uh, remove this six column then i will remove other six column because we have two tables in the first row so here i'm going to remove this out so now it will display only strip table at the top so it will remove these both uh, tables and yes strip table is there so i'm going to remove this base border and stuff like that okay so just uh, select them like this I'm going to remove them please uh, also make sure that you are removing this properly otherwise if you div uh, if you miss any of the div so design will be uh, not to work as expected okay so now it's fine and here I'm going to change the titles right so let's go to the top and in the top I'm going to change this with the uh, uh, posts okay so this would be a table now i'm going to display the post and here you can display all post okay and class script post and i'm going to remove this stuff from there okay and uh, just change the attribute so first we are going to display an image right and then I'm going to display its uh, post title title and uh, then I'm going to display its uh, description uh, description and then I'm going to display its uh, uh, is it published or not uh, publish published or undrafted or you can say that it would be a status status would be a descriptive class status contain both ones so here i'm going to add the action button so this action button contain the edit to delete and this type of things so here uh, let me uh, remove other row i'm going to just uh, remain the first row because we are going to display the data from the server side so that's why i'm going to remove all of the rows okay i'm just leaving one row so which contain our data so we'll add the data from the server side 
okay we have one row and here I'm going to display all of my post here right so now this one is set and here we need to also update its link but it's by default it's directing on this page so this one is basically used for for example you have a, a drop you have a navigation link which contain list item and you are in the buttons so here you need to add the buttons text uh, buttons name and then you need to add basic UI element here so basically it's uh, uh, it's used for to display that in which directory you are right so what's the parent directory of a current directory so this one is used but in our case we don't have any of this one we have we will add the add the post here and then we will uh, add a button here new post and we don't have this uh, post uh, uh, parent component right so that's why I'm doing this like this okay so now I need to return these thing from the post controller so here just go to the post controller and in the post here I need to grab all the post so this one is very simple post and remember now uh, our post image is stored in the galleries right so that's why we need uh, we need the relationship between post and galleries so first i'm going to build the relation and then eager load this record so then i will also tell you that what's the advantage of this eager load so first let me comment this out and um, my post contain the image so that's why i'm going to apply this on the here. post model i'm going to post this model I'm going to post this model and uh, here I'm going to build the relation between this post and gallery so I want to tell you something that here let me explain it from the database point of view so where is the post table so here this is our post table which contain a gallery ID and a category category ID so we need to display the both ones so we need to build both relation so now this gallery ID is stored here right it's a gallery ID is stored you know, where we are going to access other table right if our this gallery ID is stored in the gallery so then we need to uh, create the relation of has one relation right but for now it's the uh, foreign key is stored in this table where we are going to accept uh, where we are going to access another table data so we need to run the belongs to so too many people's confused between this one to uh, has one and belongs to so basically if your foreign key is inside your table which you are accessing and you are getting the relationship so it means that you need to run the belongs to relation okay so let's go here and add the relation public function and here I'm going to add the gallery or you can say that it would be an image so it's totally upon you so I'm going to name this gallery because our model name is gallery but i always prefer to use their name so we can easily differentiate that uh, uh, this model would be gallery if i add this image here so maybe may new developer come on this project and he will find that where is the image model so that's why i prefer to use this gallery and here i'm going to return this okay and this belongs to and here there are two ways to pass this uh, class name or model name the first one is you need to mention this like uh, app and then you need to specify models and then you need to define the model like this right and, uh, and then you need to perform the second parameter it's primary key it's foreign key right but I'm not going to use this approach I'm going to use the second approach why let me remove this out so this one contain a hard-coded data right so here I'm going to pass this gallery and it's added at the top let me go to here no it's not added because we are in the app model namespace we don't need to add this at the top so here edit this gallery class so here this is not static data it's now generating the 
it's uh, generating the basically dynamic URL because we reference this model not we specified the uh, specific path so here I define this and then second parameter you need to define its uh, primary key and then third you need to define its so uh, foreign key so what's the foreign key it would be a uh, gallery ID okay so gallery ID I think uh, first we need to define this and then id okay and uh, whenever you are following the convention so you don't need to mention these two ones right so just remove them and this will laravel already let's know that this is stored like id and a gallery id with the model uh, model name okay so now i need one more relation so i need to also along with the category right so i need to copy the same thing here here i'm going to use the category when you are copying paste this one so please take care about you are changing everything maybe you forgot about this here change to this uh, category so it will return this gallery right so make sure you are doing this properly okay so now in the controller here i'm going to access these uh, access the post with this its relation so here i'm going to call the with method so whenever you are not using the with method so it's not going to eager load the record so first understand that what is eager loading so let me check the video size no it's not going bigger so basically eager loading is uh, when we are querying to our database so it's going to uh, let me give you a real time example so for example you have one you, know, you have 10 users right 10 users and you have 10 posts okay and you want to get the uh, one user all post right so it's maybe have three or four post so you you want to get the um, one user many post right so you need to uh, query that to uh, select all from post where id equal post one select all from uh, post where id equal one tick uh, sorry so like this you need to specify let me uh, demonstrate it here i'm going to explain it here for example you are going to select uh, all from uh, select all from post where id equal 1 or where post id equal 1 sorry where post id equal 1 you are uh, specifying like this and uh, whenever you are querying it second time uh, user second post you are mentioning this like this so if you have uh, 100 posts it will generate this 100 queries right but whenever we are using this eager loading so it will going to generate query like this select all from post where post id and here we need uh, you can specify it into the array like this i'm not going to mention any exact syntax i'm just uh, telling you that uh, how it will going to run this query so basically it's going to add all of these uh, uh, post ids into the array so we will this will generate only one query instead of uh, uh, a single query for request right for a post so remember uh, consider that if you have a uh, 1000 post and you are going to access them one through 1000 query and uh, other way you can access this from only one query so it will create huge difference so make sure you are adding this with method here okay by the way if you want to check the performance of your application so just install the laravel debug bar into the into your projects it will also tell you that how many queries you are running how many models you are consuming and much more things which views are render and stuff like that right so i have also created video on it how laravel debug bar works how you can view its performance and stuff like that so go to visit my channel and search this laravel debug bar so it will be visible okay 
so now let's come to our topic our topic is here we are uh, calling this with method and whenever you have only one method so you are going to add this uh, without this array right so for example in our case i have a gallery but if you have multiple so you need to add a array here like this and then you need to specify it uh, with different index so first one is gallery and the second one is category okay and then here i'm going to call the get method because i want to get all the post so you can't call this here all because now we, we are using this here in the method okay so post and here i'm going to pass these posts so before this i'm going to uh, i'm going to show you that how it's going to look like so here i'm going to return these post okay save this one and give it a refresh so it will load uh, all of the post with gallery and stuff like that and yes so before this it's displaying the data into the one line and then second and third right so why it's this uh, now it's displaying like this so why it's displaying like this so it's pretty readable so how to make this readable so you need to just go to your chrome and install this extension i mean this one json formatter right just google it json formatter extension for chrome uh, or whatever browser you are using so just install this and this will now visible into first uh, uh, it will separate the first record and second and third like this so now it's more readable okay here we are displaying that category 3 gallery id 1 and we are displaying the post and we are also displaying the gallery id its image information and we are also getting its category information so in this way you can access its uh, access its relationship right so our video size is going bigger so in the next video i'm going to explain that how you can display them into the table so we are also going to display its category and its uh, image okay and if you like this video please uh, uh, press the like button and uh, also share your feedback in the comment box that uh, how much you like this series and what are the things which are used uh, which are need to improve this in the series so i will try my best to shoot next series uh, with the concern of these comments so take care i will meet you in the next one bye bye